Juan Marcos de Guzman Arellano was born on April 25, 1888 in Tondo, Manila. He attended the Ateneo Municipal de Manila and graduated in 1908. He first showed interest in painting and was trained by the Ermita Master Lorenzo Guerrero, Toribio Antelion, and Fabian de la Rosa. However, he pursued architecture in the United States and was sent as one of the first pensionados in architecture. After finishing his bachelor's degree, he returned to the Philippines to begin a practice with his brother, Arcadio. He then joined the Bureau of Public Works where he and Thomas Mapua were named as supervising architects. He was greatly influenced by Art Deco in the 1930. He returned to Manila and designed multiple famous buildings. He also continued to act as a consulting architect for the Bureau of Public Works. Juan Arellano was known for neoclassical and art deco architectural style. He retired in 1956, went back to painting, and died in 1960 at the age of 72. Some of Juan Arellano's famous works are the Manila Metropolitan Theater and the Manila Central Post Office. The Manila Metropolitan Theater is one of the few surviving examples of art deco architecture in the Philippines. The pioneer Filipino architect Juan Arellano was commissioned by the government to design the theater. Arellano stated that he drew the plans for the building with the phrase on the wings of song in mind. He was also influenced by early Filipino art which uses local motifs and diverse imagery of Philippine flora. The theater was inaugurated on December 10, 1931 with a capacity of 846 orchestras, 116 in the lodge, and 700 in the balcony. It was the home of operas, the Manila Symphony, and a symbol of fine arts and high society of pre-war Manila. The Art Deco style by Aureliano was enhanced by the sculptures in the facade of the theater. Highly stylized relief carving of Philippine plants and great decorative window of translucent glass. During World War II, the designs and plans of Met were burned and destroyed, and the theater was also badly damaged. During the Marcos administration, First Lady Melda Marcos had restored to its former beauty, however, it never regained its former glory. After several renovations, the Manila Metropolitan Theater was set to reopen to the public last May 2020. The Manila Central Post Office building has been declared an important cultural property worthy of national efforts for its protection and preservation. It was also recognized as a cultural asset that possesses exceptional cultural, artistic, and historical significance. The post office building was built in 1926, designed by Juan Arellano and Tomas Mapua in the heart of Manila. It was designed in a classical style that expressed order and balance. The Manila post office was strategically located at the foot of Jones Bridge because the Pasig River could be used conveniently as a route for delivery mail and it is accessible from all sides. Fronting the huge, rectangular volume are the 16 ionic pillars line that are lined up above the steps just before entering the lobby. The main body of the building is capped by a rectangular attic story and flank and buttressed by two semicircular wings. Inside, the main lobby has subsidiary holes at each end house under the semicircular spaces roof windows. During World War II, the post office was severely damaged and was eventually rebuilt in 1946. Otilio Arellano was born in Manila on February 9, 1916. Otilio Arellano is the son of Arcadio Arellano and the nephew of Juan Arellano. Both are esteemed architects of pre-war Manila. He rose into the architectural profession during the 50s to 60s becoming the one of the architects representing the Philippines in some international expositions. 
Aureliano's design were modernist in nature and he was one of the first post-war architects in his homeland to be inspired by the Filipino symbols. He was also chosen by Emil de Marcos to restore the Metropolitan Theater, his uncle's Art Deco masterpiece. He died in a fire that raised their ancestral home in San Juan in May 13, 1981. He was the designer of the Philippine Pavilion for the New York World Fair in 1964. Philippine Pavilion is a circular pavilion topped with gold anodized aluminum roof in the form of the Filipino farmer's hat called the Salakut. Its main feature was the 12 huge panels of carved relief in fine acacia wood radiating from the center column at the ground floor, which are interpretation of the paintings of our country's outstanding muralist Carlos Botong Francisco. The pavilion is a two-story structure of pre-stressed, laminated timber will present the history of the islands in paneled wood carvings. On the second floor of the main building is an exhibit showing the advance of Philippine industry and some of the cultural activities found on the islands. In a long shed, various products of the Philippines are exhibited and on sale. They include wood carvings, shells, tobaccos, bamboo chairs, swagger sticks, church and lace. Palacio del Gobernador in Intramuros, Manila was once the site of the royal residence of the Governor Generals of the Philippines from 1645 to 1863, when the original building toppled during the 1863 earthquake during the rule of Rafael Echuague. The royal residence was transferred to Malacanang until the new palacio in Intramuros was built. This never happened. During the American period, it was a rock garden by the Plaza McKinley, Plaza Roma now. Emilda Marcos, as the governor of Metro Manila and the minister of human settlements, proceeded to rebuild the palace in her own taste and whims. It was originally conceived as a 12-story building designed by architect Otilio Arellano. Public disapproval watered it down to 8 floors. <music>